touchdown. Woohoo! <laughs> Bristol! <laughs> Second Megamet, my favorite Danish girl in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do the happy dance. <laughs> Det er den bedste intro, når jeg noen gang har hatt på YouTube. <laughs> Yay! Vi er i Bristol, og nå skal vi på Dockyard Museum. Yay! Se her da, så skal vi klatre på toppen her, så dette blir veldig spennende. We are excited. Let's yeah. go! And a bit scared. Yes. This is for our larger gentleman just here. And then these for you ladies here. Vi tar gå første. If you want to step into these links just here, facing the water. Video. <laughs> Share a little bit of the history, and um, yeah, there's different things to point out in the boat. Me, Evelyn, to see a bro. 
Gläder du dig, Mette? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hjälmen är på. Och västen. Thank you. Det är denna brua här man ska gå på fins. Getting filmed here. Skiing boots. Whoa. What? What is that? Oh, what? It's wax. So this is it. What is it? Yeah. It's just like a straw. Oh my. It kind of feels like. Bone or sort of chalk, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. And that's the things. That that's up there, yeah. So sometimes they fall down. If they fall down, if they're too. Um... We shall make an own gin. Som dere ser, jeg drikker ikke alkohol, men jeg skal jo uansett lage, så det blir spennende å se. Hello, 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 thank you. How are we doing? Our all gin, then there's some bottle cocktails that we make. This is like a Pims, then we have an absinthe and an aquavit and other spirits. So vodka, rum, corn, whiskey, things like that. So that's the colour that you see. This is our distillery. You might have been expecting something much bigger. Distilleries often have big equipment and you tour through and all that sort of thing. The back window that you see there is the back. This is us. Um, we are very much a micro distillery um, in every which way. So everything we do um, is uh, is very small scale, including the little stills that we're going to use today um, uh, to make gin. So um, it's um, a bit like um, vines and olive groves. The older, gnarlier plants are much better, and they produce much better um, fruit. It is our classic recipe. Um, there are only six botanicals in it, and it's called. I, I write down the things I want. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Just note some stuff down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, and then. What was that? Lunch, a little bit to um. What was that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about it. I've done it. Okay. That's okay. okay. So, so now we need to work out the maths of it, okay? So, 1200 is what we're going to um, put in between everything, mm -hmm. okay? But first of all, we start with these numbers mm -hmm. because you can see we've given you guidelines of the lowest and the highest of what we would pour in between all of the classic things. Mm -hmm. So, all we need to do is just pick a number within these windows, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, the only other thing to decide is which of the citrus you would like to go with your, so we have I lemon, orange yeah, or grapefruit? Lemon. lemon, lovely. So, um, yeah, we just pick them in the guidance. Just to recap what they do, it's this that makes it quite gin, so mm -hmm. quite classic. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be quite a classic English gin, you'll be closer up the higher end of these two, mm -hmm. okay? So we decide what we want of these within these guidelines. We add these five numbers up once we've got them. 
see what the total is and we take that away from the 1200 and then whatever we have left is what we split amongst these three okay oh yeah okay. so the spices are a lot stronger so these two spices will need to put a lot less in than the strawberry needs to be much higher okay okay mm -hmm. um so what i would probably recommend then is to take out the strawberry yeah, yeah. okay checking your maths oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> different amounts that we have using these and we need to pour it inside our pot okay so i recommend if you start at the start so you start with your juniper grab your bottle of juniper measure your 280 pour it in your pot tick it off um or i go you God morgen, folkens. Det ble litt hektisk i går kveld. Vi hadde middag og så gikk vi på hotellet og begynte å jobbe. Nå har vi stått opp og er på en street art tour med gjengen min. Så det er mye litt flere i dag. Det er to fra Italia og en annen som er med på denne her street art touren. Så det blir spennende å se. Are you excited? Yes! Always! I can tell! Very carefully gone round the image to protect the image until such time as the stencil breaks, falls apart. Many people, and maybe they say, was selected. Now, now we just have a water-based emission coming out of the cans with a tiny pink particle in. In an extreme case, the room might get a little bit dusty, but it wouldn't get noxious and difficult to breathe. So this is why we're able to run a session like this indoors with a nice through draft. Mm -hmm. Ja, jeg tror jeg hadde tatt type sånn rosa, lilla og rosa. Altså, så begge to er lilla helt lys rød? Ja, altså litt sånn, at det blir litt sånn dipta i på en måte. Ja, det gikk jeg faktisk på min. Ja. Så lys rød her, lilla her, lys rød her, lilla her. Ja. Så det er sånn, ja, upside down, perfekt. Upside down, perfekt. Perfekt. Hva kan vi se? Erik in action. Ooh, and the legs. Og så når du ser så er med å gjøre spray tan. Jeg har sagt spray tan i hele dag, det er kjempefullt, men vi holder på da med å lage vårt egen street art med til inaction. Ja, det er 
Foten er på plass. Jeg liker meg. Wow. Rid of all the trees, all the nature, it's all concreted, but that's for your convenience. However, when you do go into our development site today, there is one tree proving really difficult to remove. I don't know, have I got any Bristolians here? No, the Bristolians are notoriously known for lack of protest, aren't they? So let's start protesting around this tree. So as soon as we get rid of the hippies, we'll carry on. Well, they all seem to get in my head. Because I've been hearing these voices on the radio that they tell me they can't hear. They think I'm uh, hearing things because of all the old chemicals. I think they're too close-minded to hear the truth. And these messages, they've been telling me about a place called the Dream Factory. Has anyone ever heard of that? I'd be surprised if you had, it doesn't exist. That suggests to me that these messages, they're... Oh, they're Vi er på Wake the Tiger nå, som er en expedition her i Bristol. Veldig spesielt, jeg vet ikke hva jeg ser på, eller hva jeg er på sånn egentlig, men jeg tror hele poenget er hva som skjer med verden hvis naturen dør, eller noe sånt. Den er veldig speiset. Bare se her. Jeg sier alltid ok, folkens. Slutt med det. Vi har vært på hotellet et par timer nå. Nå skal vi snart ut og ete middag. Det ser ut til å slutte regne nå, noe som vi krysser fingrene for. Fordi vi har jo ikke lyst til å gå i regnet, eller ikke litt. Men vi skal ete middag på et sånt teater i kveld, så får vi se hvordan det blir. Men jeg har kjøpt noe som jeg tenkte jeg kunne vise dere. Jeg bare setter dere opp igjen. Skal vi se. Jeg har kjøpt julepunt, selvsagt. Så. Se så søte kort. Det er julekalender, altså en adventkalender, så vi kan åpne opp og få bilder og tekst inn i. Så de skal jeg sende til noen. Det er, jeg sa det, julekort. Og den. Som er typisk Bristol kjennetegn. Det er jo han... Ja, uansett. Han er fra Bristol, da. Så... Ja. Skal du vinne? 